Hi there, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this a lovely, unique orange crinoline fascinator. Now, in making it, you can then how you're going to do the crinoline like that, attach your um, clip, and much more. So, let's get started. So, here are the items you'll be making use of. You need your crinoline. Now, this is the 7 inch width crinoline, and I have pieces of 10 but if i drag it it's going to make it 12 so i think that should be 12 inches that you need so i have actually three pieces of this but keep watching there's something you will get to know that happened towards the end so don't go away then you have your measurement tape your scissors you have your matching thread and needle you have this rose now this rose it's made by me if you want to know how to make it you need to join us in brush class one and you get to know more than just how to make this rose or the roses then this is clip hair clip see how it ran away then your uhu gum then you're gonna be needing also the circular I made that from police just flat then bias and then this feathers so let's get started so the first thing you're going to do is you take one of your 12 inch um, length of crane line and you're going to take out the thread you're going to do this to all the pieces you need that thread that is on the crane line you take it out okay then the next thing you want to do is fold it into two to get to know the midpoint of the crane line now this is the midpoint so i'm going to be gathering it together like so please do ensure that you iron your crane line we had light issues so i couldn't iron it but if you iron it i think it would come out better so you wrap it up like so as i'm doing now if you want to get to know more about crane line yeah i love crane lines a lot i love to manipulate them you need to join us in the crane line masters class go into the description of this video and clicking on the vent craft academy reception you can make your request for the vent crane line masters class now once you're done with that you carry the crane line that you have sewn in the middle and you're going to sew it to the middle of the rows that you have so that's what i'm doing right now i'm sewing it to the middle of the rows then i take the second one and i'm going to hold it together too in the middle like I did in the first previous one and now I'm going to put it kind of like adjacent so I'm forming like a cross with the um, two crinolines that have just placed take the third one I fold it in the middle again like so and I put it across again gents and so it kind of like forming petals at all the various places remember to find the midpoint so that you're having them at the same length all around keep watching and learning now this is the reason I said you need to watch till the end we've not reached the end anyway but you can see that I had to get some other small pieces I didn't have any one 12 inches again so I had some like 10 and the other was um, a bit close to six so i just i if you had if you have 12 all you need is one more piece to do exactly like that to place across so you have them um adjacent as i said kind of cross like if you follow the position and you would understand how i put them so you place them the same way but since i didn't have that i had to take the small small piece and place them on the position that it would have been if I had one small piece. If you gain value from this so far, do give me your thumbs up.
okay so now i'm going to use my bias to cover up those um trimmings from the um quinoline that we're showing now if you didn't use pieces like i did those small 10 6 inches um pieces no need to do this part but because i you did that i had to cover them up and glue them so it doesn't start pulling out from there After that, the next thing you need to do is to attach your clip and this is the way I'm going to be attaching it. Keep watching and learning. I'm sure you're still wondering how did that orange unique cream line fast need to come to be as it is. Keep watching. showing my clip i took that round patch that i cut out from um, um poly material you could call this scuba put my uhu gum and lifted up the clip the way it's meant to be lifted up did you see it and placed it to cover up the sewings underneath okay so i was looking at the line fastness and I was wondering hmm it's a touch of feathers and I checked my feathers collection and I saw there's feathers and I was like okay how do I use it and I was like okay just take it all around so this is how I did it I took glue and I was putting on the flower petals on the knit and then gluing the feathers all the way around keep watching and learning Here is what made our crinoline fast knit or unique and you wondered what did she do? Okay, you see it with how the um, trimmings were coming out now you're gonna help it to come out more so You just do it like this and after you're done with that you take your hand and you start pulling the in, in between just pushing and making kind of like a hole around the crinoline fascinator like you see me do keep watching and learning
remember to check the description of this video for the links to purchase the materials that were used here and also click the subscribe button you don't want to miss out on any videos that i'll be putting up and to make sure you don't miss it you click the bell button marvelous unique orange crinoline fascinator pops out from my cooking table <laughs> all right then so off to today's quiz now how many yards of crinoline do you need for this particular design what you do is you write your answer in the comment section below and I'm gonna pick one winner who is gonna attend brush class one for free that would help you make this row so get your answers popping out and you wait till next week for the release of the winner check out this next video